Hi everyone, it's Andy Carley here from School Outdoor Learning. I want to just share with you uh, one of our real success stories over the past few years, which has been the design and installation and construction of these outdoor canopy spaces. Um, I want to share with you how they're built, the materials that go into them, uh, and their potential use and versatility. So come with me. So this is the eight meter version, uh, which means it's actually, so it's eight meter from, uh, from side to side. So the diameter of the canopy edge itself is eight meters, but the poles and the wall actually sit just outside of that. So the entire footprint, screen, out, screen wall to screen wall is nine meters. So this means that this space is huge. We can get 55 plus children in this space really comfortably. Uh, for teaching, learning, other activities. And if the groups are smaller, it just means that there's even more versatility for moving around. The canopies are octagonal in shape. They're made from a 450 GSM, really thick canvas material that's completely fire retardant. So it's completely safe to use and really, really versatile and very, very hard wearing. The canopies, we give them around about a six year lifespan. So they'll comfortably last that time. The poles, if I can show you these, the poles are made from Rabinia. So this is a super, super hardwood. So although the life of the canopy might be six years, the life of these poles is more than double that. So actually it's, uh, it's very, very possible that you'll be able to simply pop another canopy on top using the existing pole infrastructure, uh, and then the entire lifespan of the whole footprint could be many, many years indeed. We normally lay a hardwood play grade wood chip floor uh, inside the middle of the canopy, which makes the whole space really, really natural looking, but also very, very versatile. We try to avoid, avoid putting any kind of hard standing uh, uh, surface uh, in the middle. We then have these sleeper benches, these hardwood sleeper benches that we put around the outside. Again, nothing fixed into the ground, everything modular and portable so that you can change the layout and the configuration as you need to. Fire pit comes as standard, blackboards come as standard as well. And then of course, you've got all of these inside screens that you can do all sorts of things on from setting creative walls to putting resources, um, any amount of things kind of work really, really well. And the octagonal shape of the canopy means that there's eight poles, one at each of the corners. And then we have this stainless steel wire that goes all the way around the halo wire as we call it. And then the perimeter edge of the canopy is simply pulled out and tensioned by these ropes to the halo wire around the outside. So the whole thing comes under loads and loads of tension uh, and is, is really, really kind of bomb proof. However, if we have got strong, very strong winds or if there's heavy snowfall forecasted, the canopies can still be collapsed. So you can undo all of these ropes and the canopy collapses down into the central pole and then you can tie it up. So again, in the event of adverse weather, that keeps everything nice uh, and safe. And there's a number of other additional features that we can add into the canopies. Uh, these can be done at the point of installation or retrospectively. One is we can we provide a winterizing pack whereby you can put flaps around seven of the eight sides and at the entrance you can have an opening doorway. So that's made from the same canvas material as the canvas itself. So essentially you're closing the whole thing in like a fully fledged yurt and it makes it snug, cozy and warm inside with a fire going and as I say to completely winterize it. The other thing we offer to turn it into a fully fledged eco hub is you can have solar power via a panel that sits on the outside of the canopy and then lights, charging points for devices etc can all be inside the canopy uh, again for those times when it's a little bit gloomy or wet. Uh, and then the final thing around kind of eco-credentials for the canopy is we can also provide extra wide guttering uh, which fit around two or three of the panels and then you can rainwater harvest from the water coming off the canopy into a large water butt and then if you've got planters or raised beds or anything around it then utilising that water 
uh, for irrigation can be really valuable as well. And we've even had schools that have put hammocks inside, uh, they've completely uh, closed in the, uh, the screen walls so that they've had a full kind of creative set of walls. You can have hanging points, um, all sorts of visual aids, uh, etc. So there's all sorts of things we can do uh, that will add to and embellish uh, the versatility of the canopy. So I hope that's been useful, a walkthrough, talk through of our canopy classrooms. Uh, as I said at the beginning, this is an eight metre version. We also do a seven and a six metre version. The six metre, even though it's that bit smaller, is still capable of taking, uh, accommodating 25 children in the space quite happily. We've installed around 250 of them now in schools all over the UK, including Northern Ireland, and we're even exporting them to the US. So it's quite a unique uh, concept. Uh, we're really, really excited about it. And the other massive advantage is we can install one now in three days in your school, so there's very little disruption. And we can put them into some quite remote spots, such as this one at Eagle House School, uh, so we can access some of the remoter parts and areas of your site to, uh, to, to install and reclaim those areas. So if you're interested in finding out more, details to follow and we'd love to have a conversation with you about them.